Welcome back to Robbing Minds and it's been an interesting show so far even if I may say so myself but now we move on to international politics and to discuss with me in the studio today is Akinwumi Omogbalaho and he's a media professional. Welcome to the show. So you're a media prof professional. Premium Times Read. Serap, NUJ, drag federal government, others to UN over crackdown in journalists. This is not the first time that we'll see something like this, but is this a sign of things to come? No, well, I think uh, it's uh, long overdue because this kind of issue is not the, something that is I mean, just started happening. It's something that's been on for a very long time. I think uh, the media should not avail themselves to be bullied, even at this moment, because the media has grown beyond cracking that because if you have failed yourself to be bullied, I mean, from the angle that you didn't provide more details to your news, people will harass you. I think it's that time people start give more details, provide more details to their news. So, so are you laying the blame at premium time, no, saying I, that I, they I, did not expatiate their story, they didn't elaborate, so left themselves open to this attack? Yes, although I, I condemn the attack. Okay. But they should know better, because if you are giving, because they always say there are three sides of story. Your story, their side, their side, your side, their side, and the truth. Yes. So if you are giving on the story, if you have provided the, enough details, nobody will have any chance to bully you or harass you. And I think the military have uh, maybe, maybe opportunity to go to court, to sue. But sometimes when you are harassed, I think people harass media because they believe that they, are, they have the truth, that the media do, do not have the truth, the real fact. So that's why people try to bully because if the media actually have the truth, the fact, you can't believe them because, okay, let's go ahead. Because I remember one time, some time ago, somebody uh, granted an interview to somebody. And uh, after the interview has been published, the person has said, he didn't say this. Like, he retracted the statement. Yes, I know. No, they were like, like, oh, thank God I kept the tape. The tape not played to I feel like. So that's one thing. When you try to interview somebody, you have to keep the tape. And again, when you're providing kind of news, you have to make sure that the necessary details are involved. Because you left out reasonable details, people will be bullied, you will be harassed. So, so you're saying if Premium Times had done their homework and had done a good well. job, like in your case where you have the extra story and presented a well-balanced story, story. Nobody then will nobody will bully them. Nobody will bully them. That's, that's the fact. So why would Premium Times not do what's right? I think, you know, a, you know source. Sources are, are the means of the news we are getting. You know, if you think your source is very reliable, you might like, let me go all out. But unfortunately, you know, when people give you gist or scoop, you have to, you have to try to Sieve investigate it. that scoop. Because that makes my have to use you. Because in this kind of dispensation, I can see that the, what is happening in the country now, I always play media because we are not being played, they are not being played to the gallery. Because you see some sorry being scratched on the surface. And that's one of the reason like me now, I hardly read newspaper again because most of the time you're gonna read the newspaper, so it's already been disseminated on social media. Yes. So that's why you have to look at the, some of the news like, is it true or not? So you don't even know who to trust again because if the media are not they are fail in their own part. So there's gonna be a lot of problem. So I don't think they are, because I remember if you, uh, if you are doing a good job, nobody will ask you. Uh, but, but nevertheless, you do condemn the attack because if they are being bullied, doesn't this send a message to other media houses? But still, people are still going to do the same thing. Because this is not the first time they've been, uh, the, uh, the, the media will be harassed. This is not the first time they will mop up newspapers. But, but this is a democracy. And the, the democracy this is not give the you, first time no, that... They must not give you the right to start creating kind of a, a, kind of a false accusation. Rumor that can maybe that can or maybe turn people image because when the community doesn't give it that kind of a liberty. So you're laying the blame at both, but both sides. Both sides. One is you didn't do your work properly, and the other one is violence is never the response. Raging, the response, uh, yeah. bullying, that's just wrong. It's wrong. If yeah. you have an issue, take it to court but and get. Court, because people can't wait because they, they believe that going to court might take a long time. And you know, when a, a news is being published, you know, people might have re read it. Consume the media. Consume they, they won't know what, they, what happened next. They don't and they, they might not come back to that story that, to That's why some further. people, they have the power. Let me use this power to maybe to, maybe to embarrass the media. Okay. Let's, I'm um, still on the media, but let's move 
to the United States with the inauguration of President Donald Trump, we saw a lot of women coming out to march against him. And the question on many people's lips were, where were you when it was time to vote? Why didn't you use that same energy, that same passion to vote a woman and to become the president? I think it's all part of politics. You know, most of the protests are being sponsored. Okay. Don't forget that, you know. And, and the media is also... Also, they try to, like, uh, try to blow some things out of proportion. So this is where the media is trying that, to paint a that, story that it's not necessarily the full story. And sometimes I saw the video, some videos online, you know, I, I told my wife, like, I didn't believe this video, because videos can be doctored. So I you saw, didn't believe that women went out to march? Or no, you didn't they, believe they, march, they, the, they did. What I'm saying is that the visuals, there's a lot of crowd. Okay, so that was manipulated? I, I'm just saying that. I don't believe in some videos. When I saw videos, I can be doctored. Because last time the, before the election, I later saw some video that actually presented Trump, the real interview, not the one they've been in it all, edited, edited and gave to us, to, uh, fed to us online. So I was like, okay, that's why I, I, I don't believe on, in, in visual. Or um, so maybe somebody, maybe there's a, somebody in the back, maybe in the crowd interview, the live report, not like the one that I've seen on social media being edited. So I said, I don't believe in that. But it's, what I, like what you said, you know, when they are the, doing the election, like I said, most protests have been sponsored. And uh, when it comes to, to politics, People you thought that they are your supporters, the last minute, you might not even know their stand. So the women, they want to use the women against Trump because it's like a kind of a, like they kind of make some comments about women. Okay, let you this, this, uh, this kind of uh, a statement to tackle him, to embarrass him. I think that's one of the things that happened. But to what end will this protest be? Is it just going to be a media? No, you see, it's only going to actually get the fact that Trump has been sworn in. If you either you like it or not, it's going to be there for the next four years. Why are we fooling ourselves? If you like, you can stay sleep outside for the next four years. It's going to be there. And it has that the two power to say, okay, don't do this. I don't want to see any protest. It has that power now that don't do this. It, it can it can set anybody. So anybody going to challenge you for that? It's been small. I think you should just go into the normal business and just keep their finger crossed and see what's going to happen next. Okay. So away from America and right in our own backyard, Gambia in the West Africa, there's been this political tussle about the president, um, Jamer. You know, he, he first accepted that he lost the election, then tried to hold on to power, which is something we've seen in Africa, yes. where leaders come out and annul elections or they want to get power at all costs. But now that has led into other people coming in to make sure that this democracy is carried out. And you think that with what has happened in other countries now, where a leader loses an election and just hands over peacefully, that he would do the same thing. But we're not seeing that. Why is that the case? Uh, you should not forget his background. Jamez's background, you know, he's, he's a, as a military man. Then I think he had the Gambians in his pocket for very long, for too long. You know, when you have a kind of a, you are running a country, and the constitution does not give room for something be after four years like us. So that you have a problem. You must start to stay longer than that. Look at uh, Zimbabwe. Mugabe has been there for 30 years. So is it a constitutional problem? I'm just um, coming from that angle. Okay. Assuming the constitution give room. I don't know that he had them in their pocket because after so many years he contested he won. But did he forget that the, the world is evolving? It's not like the, the, the Gambia of 2007, 2010, 2016, people have tried to expose. As I'm saying, people try to know what is going on with this man. This man is not suitable for us. Let's change. Let's change another person. Let's see what's going to happen. Like in, in Ghana, they just had change. So <laughs> that, that wind of change blowing from it's Nigeria blazed. to Ghana is now blown over to so Ghana. So I think, um, in, and, and uh, another thing, and, um, just from my own point of view, is that maybe somebody is like, why do you want to relinquish power? Try to. So you mean people around him are saying you can still hold on to because this some, power? Because some, I can come some of the African president leaders. They say why? Because they know that the moment you leave, quit, the benefits that's always supposed to get to their own side is not going to forthcoming. They want it to be there. 